I'm just going to touch on a couple other features that I use on a regular basis. Uh, if I scroll over here, I take a look at my drum track in this section and pay a attention to those grayed out sound bites. Pasta fazula tarola. Do you have a bagel fagel? Now, don't be so bashful, Nashville. Everybody eats when they come to my house. So a really simple tool, that's just called the mute tool. And I engage it by clicking on the, whatever I want, the audio or the MIDI. There's some muted MIDI down here too. I hold down the M key, M for mute, of course. I click on it and those drums are back. And if I change my mind again, I click on it, those drums are muted. And the same thing happened with this MIDI here. You can see that's in gray. Now, you might be asking if you're not familiar with working this way, hey, how did he click on one of those drum tracks and all of them got highlighted instantly? That is thanks to the tracks group feature. In Digital Performer, we can set up unlimited numbers of track groups for mixing, for editing, for both, or any combination thereof. So in this particular situation, because I'm dealing with live recorded multi-track drums with about eight or nine mics on the drum kit, I want to make sure that they always get edited together, that if, if I'm in the middle of working with this, I never slip one drum out of time or out of phase with another one. So I've said, I've got a drum group here, and I want it to always be edited together, and that has the nice byproduct of any time I click on one, I'm clicking on all of them at once. Everything I'm doing is non-destructive, so I can always change my mind and go back to the way it was if I so choose.